Hi everyone, this is Little Bookish Teacher. My name is Steph and today I'm going to be sharing my tidying up my picture book shelves video with you because it was an experience guys. For those of you who don't know, I am a teacher based in Melbourne. However, at the end of 2022, I had to pack up my classroom and bring home all of my kids books, mostly picture books, because in 2023, I am no longer in the classroom. My role is an out of classroom role where I am part year level coordinator, part literacy coordinator for the entire school. And as such, I don't have a classroom, so I don't have anywhere to store my books. And I have a lot of them. Today, you're going to see how I sort all these books because literally I brought them home at the end of 2022. I shoved them onto the shelves just to get them off the floor because I live in quite a small apartment and I didn't really order anything because I just needed to get them off the floor so I would have space. My brain doesn't cope with that so I have to sort them and for the most part my picture books are sorted alphabetically by author's surname. It just makes it easier for me to find them because I am aware of what is in my collection so it makes it easier for me to find books that way. I do have a couple of collections that I keep separate like my Australian First Nations titles. I also keep some books that focus more on social skills and well-being. I try and keep those separate as well and things like holiday themed books and things like that unless they're part of a bigger series by an author in which case they get shelved in the normal section. You're going to come along on this ride with me. I'm going to pull every book off the shelf. I'm going to sort them. You're going to see me sort them into letter groups, which incidentally, I possibly should have split them slightly differently in the way that I did it, but it's fine. We got there. And then I go through and I alphabetize them and then I put them back on the shelves. So my shelves are the Kallax shelves from Ikea. I have two of them. One of them is completely full of picture books. The other has half my adult titles that I wanted to have on display and then half children's titles as well. And at the very end I'll do a really brief pan over of all of the shelves and you can see what's there. Most of this is just going to be a sped up overview of what I do. There's a couple of times where I stop and explain what I'm doing and then we'll come back at the end to wrap up. So happy watching. So my living room is currently covered in picture books and I did try to sort them because I do store them alphabetical by author because I am able to find them quickly that way. And you may or not be able to tell that my authors whose surnames begin with A to D, I've got quite a few of them. It's quite a popular surname letter starting point. Anyway, that's the rest of them. I have nonfiction over here. I have some holiday themed books as well as my Anzac books, which I also keep separate because it's easy to pull them out. My Australian First Nations books, those ones are just oversized, they're just going to go on the end. Social skills, feelings, books that aren't part of other author collections. And then also some anthologies and poetry collections which are going in different places, although Sister Heart might go with the First Nations books. I haven't decided yet. Anyway, we're going to start putting these back on the shelf.
Okay, so that was my absolute chaos of a day yesterday while I was sorting out these shelves. I was just very tired by the end of it, but I'm really glad that it's all sorted. I'm happy with how it's looking. I'm gonna be able to find things so that I can start doing some more recommendation videos and recommendation list for you guys here on this channel. So now is the opportunity. If there is something that you would really like to see, collections that you would like, if it's an author, if it is a theme, feel free to let me know down below because I am starting to plan the content for the rest of the year. January is pretty much set and I will have more videos coming out in the next week. But if you have any other things that you would like to see, feel free to let me know. Thank you very much for watching. Again, feel free to share any suggestions you have down below. Or if you just want to let me know that you're here but you don't want to leave a comment, feel free to leave your favorite emoji. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye everyone.